Let's move to question number two when you have two and a half minutes to solve this question and then post your answers. Very good. What is the difference between decrease and minimize? If you would not have been given minimize, then it's fine to go with decrease. But if you have been given both the words, which mean the same, 
decrease the first difference is decrease is more general minimize is a bit more academic and the second one is decrease the first uh, context of using the word decrease is with numerals like the numbers are decreasing the quantity is decreasing so things that are more in numerical figures go more with decrease or it goes with trends decreasing trend increasing trend whereas minimize is used to overall reduce something not decrease so you can uh, write it down as decrease is general minimize is more academic and decrease goes more with numbers but if minimize is not given then obviously you have to go with decrease vaccines play an essential role in disease prevention helping minimize the spread of illness and saving countless countless lives the spread of illness what kind of illness is minimized with the help of vaccines some of you have written communicable is polio communicable you have polio vaccine right is polio communicable so vaccines are not only for the diseases which are communicable vaccines are for lot of like uh small infants they get vaccines for hepatitis that's not communicable you cannot pass it from one person to another so vaccines are basically for dangerous diseases diseases which can have a severe impact on your life like polio it can damage uh, some organ of your body some part of your body those are not communicable diseases those are contagious diseases before vaccines ever so we have however between two commas so you should read it in the beginning of the sentence however before vaccines ever gain widespread use in humans it's a present tense statement they dash years of research and development so they are saying that before vaccines uh, are used they dash years of research so they means vaccines dash years of research vaccines go through vaccines undertake undertake means do so doing something is called undertake vaccines do the research is not possible vaccines experience the research research is not a feeling that vaccines can experience but yes vaccines undergo undergo means research is done on vaccines and vaccines are the subject of research that is they undergo the research go through is used in the context when we say please go through this chapter kind of revise kind of having an overview that is how we use go through so it should be undergo that research is done on them the development process culminates in approval by a government regulatory agency but how is a vaccine approved and what are the factors dash govern approval so what are the factors that govern which govern such is used for reference we are not referencing here whom is used for human beings what is the difference between that and which a very clear difference if there is a comma before the blank then we go with which if there is no comma before the blank then we go with that and here we don't have a comma so the answer will be that what are the factors that govern approval this uh, blank the dif that and which blank it comes in the exam a lot of times so you just have to check the comma and then you can select the right answer each country or region has its own approval agency for example the us has this agency fda europe has ema australia has cfda dash of these agencies has its own process so has tells us that the answer has to be singular so we need a singular noun here some all and few are plural there is only one singular option which is each so time saving blank this can save a lot of your time each each of these agencies has its own process in place but in general when considering the approval of new drugs their decisions dash scientific and technological information so their decisions is plural so has cannot come first of all their decisions have been through this information means decision have gone through the information decisions are based on is better that these are the basis on which they take their decisions their decisions are based on scientific information and technological information so we cannot say have been through bhuvan i hope you understand that will mean the decisions have been through something right 
so these are the answers the first one decrease goes more with numbers it's more general word minimize is more academic so we should go with that contagious is something which is dangerous which has severe impacts and then um research is done on vaccines that will mean vaccines undergo research and what are the factors that govern because there is no comma before the blank if there is a comma you should select which govern the fourth one we needed a singular answer because the pronoun is singular has so has comes with each and the last one the decisions are based on so ganya what did i just say has comes with plural can we say all has done or we will say all have done so you have to always the noun of the sentence is the word written before of and then you have to match it with the helping verb there can be lots of words coming in between which can be singular plural but you should know that which word has to be matched with which word so word before of is the noun and the noun should be matching with the helping verb or the verb right so see here has and its the pronoun its and helping verb both are singular so you have to match it with the singular noun any other confusion anyone in this question all good third question two and a half minutes
Okay, anybody left to post the answer? Who knows the meaning of liability? So libel word comes from liability. When you have a liability on you, then you are said you are liable. So before you select your answers, you always have to check whether you need a negative answer or a positive answer because this can save you from understanding the context wrong way. Libel does not mean depend on. In 2016, the Academy announced its slate of acting nominations for the Dash Awards. So the nominations are always announced before the awards. So the Academy announced its nominations for the upcoming awards. This was completely based on kind of information thing that obviously nominations are announced. That means the awards are going to come. That's why they have announced the nominations. We cannot say nominations for the future awards. There are no past, present or future awards that we have. Ongoing means the awards are already going on. So you cannot announce the nominations ongoing when the awards have already started because when will people vote and when will you decide who has won? And again, approaching cannot be used for awards. And it was once again composed of white actors. The sentence is absolutely complete. Composed is a verb. So we need adverb here. Something that ends with LY and we have all four LY options. That means we have to select the answer based on context. And once again, it was dash composed of white actors. It was exclusively, exclusively means only. So these two are synonyms. Completely means 100%, particularly means specially. So what goes more with the context are we talking about any percentage thing that it was 70 percent 80 percent or 100 percent even if we want to say completely can this thing actually be complete or incomplete so if you have give have been given the option of exclusively and completely then how will you check completely is is this a complete and incomplete point of view kind of thing no the awards uh, are the awards are only given to white actors. We cannot say it is incompletely given or completely given. So it's better to go with exclusively, which means only white actors won the awards. We cannot say completely white actors won the awards. So that is a way that you can pick up the words and create a sentence of your side that how will I say this thing? Completely white actors won? Yeah, only white actors won. So only seems better. But we have a better academic word for only, which is exclusively. So we should go with that. The hashtag Oscars so white was revived, ensuring that the spotlight continued to be on long existing inequalities, inequities in the awards recognition dash on the larger Hollywood film industry. Okay, very long sentence. So we'll have to find out where is the hint. So they say the hashtag Oscar so white was revived. One thing completes here ensuring that the spotlight continued to be on so spotlight was on this thing dash on and we again have on means the spotlight was on one and on two this is how you have to check prepositions when they say in that in something dash in again that means both the things are to be connected with and just like you have on one dash on two so you need and in this case, and we don't have and what is a better way to say and as well as. The spotlight continued to be on one as well as on two. So on the larger Hollywood film industry for lacking representation of diverse people. So obviously when only white people will won the awards, so this will lack representation of diverse people. So what kind of representation is not there? Lacking means they don't have. So original or duplicate, authentic means real. Convincing means very something which has lots of logics, proofs and facts that is called convincing. Categorically, we don't need LY, we need adjective, we don't need adverb. So we should go with authentic because it means real. This was not the real representation of diverse people. If only white people are winning, this is not the real representation. So we cannot say original or because the opposite of original is duplicate. So both the things don't fit. Uh, then they say the argument was that such a homogeneous voting body 
would always be less dash to advocate for films that do not represent their experiences that means the films that represent the experiences of the marginalized let's take for example people of color so marginalized means people who are in uh, minority groups so come based on the context they were saying all the white people were winning because the homogeneous voting body so voting body is also white so they would be less dash to advocate for films that do not concern them that are not of their life so this is not a liability people who are voting for white films this is not a liability on them to advocate for the other films rather we just want to say that they will be less inclined less inclined means less interested they will be less bothered they will be less convinced to advocate because it's not their life they don't feel related to that those firms so inclined means they are not supportive to that side that is called inclined whereas liable would be they have to do something there is a liability and liability can be for law they have broken some rules so they have to pay the fine that is called liable and liability prone means when something is at the risk of so again this uh, voting body is not at the risk to advocate but yes they are not inclined they don't feel like voting for the other firms so these are the answers the first one is nominations are announced before the awards so that's why we'll see upcoming awards when we take the sentence words out of this sentence and we try to create a similar sentence we'll say only white actors one we won't say completely white actors one so only should be exclusively the third one was based on just the sentence structure spotlight was on one thing as well as on the other thing so this is a check of prepositions if the sentence is very long and you have connectors or conjunctions as the options lacking representation what kind of representation is lacking real representation there was no authenticity these awards don't show what the real picture is because they are biased and the last one they would be less inclined less supportive less convinced less interested less bothered so all these things will mean inclined right anybody who has any confusion in this question not a good score so ganya you are not getting a good score today okay so here we have question number 4 two and a half minutes and then post your answers
Okay, very good. Associated. No, not associated. This I thought was an easy question and you should have done this correct, all of you. The modern circus came into being in England in 1768 when Philip Astley, a former major turned trick rider, found that if he galloped in a circle, Dash standing on his horse's back, centrifugal and centripetal forces helped him to keep his balance. So when we do, do two things at the same time, the preposition that we use is why. Uh, for an example, I completed my homework while watching television. So means you did both the things at the same time. The same thing is used here. If he galloped in a circle while standing on the horse's back, then the forces helped him to keep his balance. And almost all of you have got it correct. When comes with time, during with time period, and for should be with a noun, for something. It says, it is perhaps because of this discovery that he is often dashed with having invented the circus ring. So they were giving him the credit that he invented the circus ring. So when we give a credit to a person, what do we use? He is credited with what thing? With the invention of the circus ring. We will not say associated with. Associated means he's related to something. That is association with something. And nobody has selected confirmed or established because obviously they don't make any sense. But he is credited means he, we gave this person the credit that you have invented the circus ring. But it was in fact a device that had been in use for some time by trick riders. Dash, he did experiment with the ring in order to determine its optimum size. So we need a connector because we have both the commas before and after the blank. Hence is used when you conclude something. Furthermore is used when you talk about the same thing that you have already talked about and you're giving new information about it. Already is not a connector. However, is when you go opposite to something. So in the previous sentence, we say that uh, he was credited with the invention of the circus ring, but. So but means there's an opposite to this thing. It was a device actually that had been, had been that even before he invented, the device had been in use by the writers. Means they were already using it. He did not make the invention. So we'll go with however he did experiment with the ring. Means okay, he did not invent it. But he did some experiments to determine the optimum size for both rider safety and audience sight lines. His first ring was about 62 feet in diameter and then 42 foot standard that is still used in modern circuses. Astley's shows consisted only of trick riding exhibitions until 1770 when he hired a clown, musicians and other performance performers for his show in order to provide Dash with a diverse entertainment. So who comes to watch circuses and shows? Who do we provide uh, entertainment? People, observers, spectators and watchers. So obviously they are people, but they are specifically called spectators. People who come to watch any performance, any type, they are called spectators. And then they say because of these innovations, he is credited with, see this is how they have used it, Having developed the modern circus, he eventually built a roof over his ring and added a stage for dramatic dash. So still they are in the circus. So stage is added in the circus for dramatic impression appearance performances because we have performances in a circus. So a lot of you have done very well. Just some of you have uh, got the associated thing wrong. Associated is just having a relation to something, related to something. And what else? Not people, Saurabh. They are specifically called spectators. Any other confusion, anyone? Furthermore is used when you go on the same side. Here we are not going on the same side. For example, you say, um, I am interested in physics furthermore i want to pursue geography 
So you are talking about your interest. You first talked about one interest and then you're talking about more interest. You are continuing the story, just adding more pieces of new information. That is when we use furthermore. But here we were talking opposite. We first that said that he is credited, but even before him, the ring was already in use, but he did experiments with that ring. So that is what the contrast is, that the ring was already in use, uh, however, he did the experiments, means he found new things about it. He did some new experiments on it. Right? Okay, so the last question for reading writing blanks for today, two and a half minutes and then post your answers.
should be done and very well done. A hydrofoil is an underwater scale-like fin with a flat or curved wing-like surface that lifts a moving boat as these surfaces push dash the water, dash which these surfaces move. So anything that moves in the water, it pushes against water, only then it is possible to move. So the surfaces push against the water, dash which these surfaces move. So this push against the water through which they move means this is their method. This is the process by which things move in water. The push is against the water and through this, the surfaces move. As a result, hydrofoils limit the contact of the boat with the water, which reduces drag at higher speeds. Although hydrofoil designs had existed since 1861, it wasn't until 1906 that Italian inventor, this person would construct the first workable hydrofoil. Dash 1908 and 1920. So when we have and, we go with between two things and we do have between, so it was an easy one. Between this and this year, Bell and his trusted manager would develop the fastest hydrofoils of the time. In 1908, during Bell's flirtation with aircraft, Bell and Baldwin dashed to develop. So whatever happened, it happened in 1908. So in 1908, these two people dashed to develop a heavier than water vehicle. So go is present tense, depart is present tense. We have two past tenses, started and set out because the past form of set is also set. And out of started and set out, both means the same. Set out is a more academic form of saying started. So these two people set out to develop means these two people uh, started the work to develop a heavier than water vehicle. They were inspired by the description of the basic principles of hydrofoils. So they were inspired is complete. Inspired is a verb. So we need adverb, ly. How were they inspired? Probability does not end with ly. Doubtlessly. Assume does not have ly. They were likely. Is there a word doubtlessly? No. So we'll go with they were likely means most probably they were inspired by the description of the hydrofoils. This is called likely. So the first one was general information kind of thing that uh, surfaces push against the water through which they move. This is a method of this is the process through which they move. And two things come with between between this and this year. And 1908 is past tense started and set out both are past set out is more academic form to say started only. And the last one, they were likely inspired means most probably they were inspired by the principles of hydrofoils. Very well done. Good attempt. Any confusion, anyone in this particular question? No. Following, where is following? Following cannot come with and permitter. And following come with year, following 1908 should be after 1908. So following would be after that, but there should be one year in that sense, not two. All right, let's begin with reorders. And here you have your first question. You have only two minutes to solve this. Please be mindful of the time and post your answers.
This question is a very good example of how sentences are connected from general to specific information. So the first sentence was C because this tells you the percentage of a population that needs to develop immunity to an infectious disease in order for herd immunity to take effect depends on the contagiousness of the disease. So here you said that the how do we get to know that what percentage should develop immunity? This depends upon contagiousness of the disease. What do you mean by this? This is explained in A. Means the more contagious the disease, the greater the proportion of a population that needs to be immune. So first you said it depends upon contagiousness. What is the relationship? How it depends? The more contagious the disease, the greater the population should be immune. And here you said the greater the proportion of the population. And then you explain how much exactly proportion. For most diseases, herd immunity is achieved only after 70 to 90% of a population is immune. Even if this was a hint that you need to now talk about proportion, otherwise this estimate cannot come unless and until you have given a numerical figure because estimate is always in numbers. So that is why this estimate will come after you have talked about the number. So this was another hint that this will come at the end. Bit of the understanding of the context in a way that, okay, what is this sentence saying? This sentence is saying uh, immunization depends upon contagiousness. So you explained that particular thing that contagiousness, how does it depend on contagiousness? Means more, less, average, what is it? If there are two things in the sentence, yes, I do. I did said that. If there are two topics in the same sentence, then we explain the first one first. But in C sentence, do you, are you talking about C sentence, Amna? There's only one topic here. There are no two topics in this. Two topics means uh, globalization affects temperatures and surface. So then you will talk about temperatures first and surface because both, the, both are the basis. Here, they are saying the percentage of a population that needs to develop immunity to an infectious disease for herd immunity depends on, means all this thing depends upon contagiousness. This was the statement. Herd immunity is not the topic. They are, we are not talking about herd immunity. We are saying the percentage to develop immunity to achieve herd immunity depends on contagiousness. So herd immunity and contagiousness are not the same things. So contagiousness was the only basis on which this thing depends. If there would be two bases, then you will explain the first one first and the second one second. Right? So the two things have to be the equal two things. Then only that rule applies. So here you have question number two. Two minutes for this and then post your answers.
okay this is a bit confusing the first sentence was confusing but we had no option even if we think like we cannot start with later there were clear hints that the other sentences cannot come first at least this is the sentence which can start the topic later in the bronze age the sword made its first appearance and here later is not in relation to any year later in the bronze age means in the last uh, of the bronze age the sword made its first appearance so we are talking about a time and then the topic is sword was first appeared any sentence which further explains time since that time that time means if we are referring to a time bronze age is the time weapons have been refined to maximize the killing potential while minimizing the ability of one's opponent to retaliate and then we have in such cases the drone operator where does drone come from so first we have to introduce drone the apotheosis of this trend is the armed drone so here we introduce drone and then we talk about it further the drone operator might be on the other side of the world so this was this is done well by a lot of you very good good well done kishan okay the third question for reorders and here it is two minutes to post your answers good this is done well so the first sentence was see the hardware needs to know what to do and that is the role of software because here we introduce software and then we further explain it is of two types system software and application software so this is uh, so when this can be the example of how uh, i meant that two things should be written so you first explain the first thing the primary piece of system software is the operating system and then we explain the next one application software so both the things should be the same like two types two kinds two names two examples so then you uh, explain them one by one and this should have been correct gandeep please make sure that you are noting down the rules for the orders 
so first introduction then explanation and then further explanation if you have one by one thing by d after a we haven't written d after a d is the definition of application software so first we have to name that we have two types one is system one is application system is written first so we will first explain system then application is written so then we will explain application okay prabhjot okay so starting with the reading blanks and you have the first question here on your screens Two minutes to solve this and then post your answers. good fairs played an important role in dash trade throughout europe and yes you have selected right we cannot create trade but yes we can develop trade so an important role in developing trade throughout europe from the 7th century dash the late medieval period 
so we have two words that go with time period and they are very opposite to each other since is used when you say starting of the time and until is used when you give the closing of the time and in this sentence the starting is already done from the 7th century means starting from 7th century and now we have to give the closing time so we will give it until the late medieval period the ending time at which point more regular channels of marketing were standardized fairs then became a place less for training than for entertainment providing a dash for acrobatics feats of skill trained animals and other elements later associated with the circus so we are talking about fairs fairs became a place for entertainment providing a dash for there were two nouns providing a showcase for or providing a display for there were uh, multiple examples that they have given so i picked up one trained animals and i matched providing a display for trained animals or it should be providing a display of trained animals so display will come with of display of something display is not for something whereas the word showcase is the right answer because showcase means providing a stage providing an area to show so that is called a showcase providing a stage for acrobatic stage for skills stage for trained animals and other elements by the late 18th century however they dash as unsavory affairs so 18th century means past tense and we have one present and one past option so we'll go with past they were regarded as unsavory affairs right any confusion anyone so the first one is developing because trades and trade is not created it can be developed until comes with ending time since comes with starting time third one a uh, stage for we don't say display for display is of things not for things and the last one we needed past tense because this at 18th century so it should be were regarded not are regarded no confusions in this okay so here is your second question 2 minutes for this and then post your answers
Good, well done. So let's look at the answers. They say officially designated the H4 Hercules, the eight engine flying boat known as the Spruce Goose was intended to dash as a troop transport. So there's a boat, it has eight engines, the eight engine flying boat. So when we read the context, we'll come to know that they wanted to say it was a very big boat. So we'll go with something as an adjective, which shows that it was very big and the word is massive. Massive eight engine flying boat was intended to dash as a troop transport. So with two comes first form of verb. Intended to, there is sir, we have passed on and surpass three verbs. Surpass is to cross something and become bigger than that. Serve fits here that it was intended to serve as means this was the purpose for which it was made. That was the intention that it was to serve as troop transport. Initially proposed at the high point of the Battle of Atlantic when German submarines were sinking over 100 ships every month, the Spruce Goose would make its first flight on November 2, 1947, dash two years after World War II ended. Something that goes with numbers. So we can say more than two years after the World War ended because this can go with two years. More than is used with counting. The flight that flight was just over a mile long, but it dashed hugs to claim the honor of having piloted the largest airplane ever built. That was what I was uh, trying to tell you. That why massive comes here is when we read, we come to know that they were talking about that it was the largest. So it was just over a mile, but it dashed hugs to claim the honor of having piloted the largest airplane. So it is in past tense. What we have in past tense is made and allowed. It made the person to claim the honor or it allowed the person to claim the honor. So it cannot make a person to claim, but we can say it allowed means it served as a basis for which the person could claim the honor of uh, here. It was the honor of piloting the largest airplane ever built. In June 2016, Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen unveiled the Strato launch twin boom launch vehicle that would dash the spruce goose's record so if i'm not reading this so they are saying that another person built something like that again it was 385 foot wingspan twin boom launch vehicle again that would dash the spruce goose's record so it would comes first form of verb we were left with two first forms that would pass on the record or that will surpass the record. So it will be surpassed because surpass means cross that record. Pass means to pass the record from one to another, but it will surpass. So that's what Muhammad I said. Um, let's say you have flown or Mr. A has flown the largest airplane in the world. So this thing has made that person to claim the honor or this thing allowed the person to claim the honor. So we'll say allowed because nobody else is allowed to take that honor because nobody else has flown it. So this thing doing this allowed him to claim that. Now this person can claim. Nobody else is allowed to claim. So we cannot say this thing made the person to claim. Right? So the third the blank was when they said, so they were talking about time period that this uh, spruce goose would make its first flight on this date. And this date, because it's a comma, and then you have some explanation. So explanation is about the date. Whenever you complete a sentence and you don't put a full stop, rather you put a comma and then you explain something, 90% of the time, you explain the last mentioned word before the comma. So here they were explaining the date. When was this date? This was more than two years after the World War II ended. So this was the explanation of the time, the date. That is why we are talking about this date was more than two years after the World War II ended. Got it, Manu? and Muhammad. Okay, so both the things were same. 
All right. So question number three. Two minutes for this and then share your answers, please. Okay, I've got the first blank was so confusing that I've got so many wrong answers for the first one. 
distance learning also called distance education e learning and online learning form of education in which the main dash include physical separation of teachers and students so a lot of you are written in which the main factors include factors means what factors are the things affecting something like what are the factors affecting globalization factors affecting global warming so factors are not something included in a thing rather elements is something which is included like we say what are the elements in something so distance learning in which the main element so when we talk about distance learning we say distance learning includes uh, online classes uh, use of laptop we'll say these things are included these things are a part of distance learning we won't say these are the factors of distance learning right so distance learning in which the main elements include physical separation of teachers and students during instruction and the use of various technologies to dash student teacher and student student communication so we use different technologies like nowadays we have applications like zoom so we use various technologies to dash the communication so we two comes first form of verb and we use all these technologies to make possible the communication so what is something that is first form of verb we have quicken and we have facilitate so we don't want to increase we don't want to do the communication quickly but rather we want to make the communication possible so these technologies facilitate the communication distance learning dash on non traditional students such as full time workers military and non residents or individuals in remote regions so traditionally means earlier in the beginning traditional learning dash on non traditional students distance learning dash on non traditional students so we can say has focused because that was a thing earlier so it has focused on non traditional students and also the next sentence also gave us a hint that they were talking about distance learning has become and dash part of the educational world so with and comes something with the vowel a e i o u and there were two options it has become an established part or it has become an open ended part so there is nothing about open or close in distance ending distance learning we'll say established part established means one of the main parts with trends pointing to ongoing dash so then they have given the trend also in us higher education alone more than 5.6 million university students were enrolled so means the trend is increasing trends pointing to ongoing growth means there is continuous growth in the number of students that we have studying online right so the first one should not have been factors like i said factors are about something factors are not the things included in something included in something are the elements of that thing second is we want to make possible the communication so it should be facilitate third uh, it initially has focused on because the word on comes with focused fourth one with an dash part so with an we have open and it is not a type of part but we can say established means main part and the last one the trends point to growth in this sector of online learning so the example was already given that earlier there were just 1.6 million and now we have 5.6 million so that is why we have selected growth here see was focus will change the sentence can we say distance learning was focused on because we are taking distance learning as as the subject as the noun itself so we cannot form a passive statement here that distance learning was focused on we'll say it has focused because till now it has been doing the same even with traditionally or without traditionally we can go with has mano both the ways because we are taking it as a subject as i said means we are saying that distance learning has done the work so distance learning has focused on these kind of students earlier however now it has become so we have to match with the next tense also right okay question number 4 2 minutes for this
All right, enough time should be completed. Implemented. Where are you implementing carbon neutral fuels? What are the nouns that we can use with implement? Okay, surprise test. What are the things that can be implemented? Answer in the chat box. We can implement what things? Law, very good. What else? Only law can be implemented. Rules, project, strategy is fine. Rules is fine. Methods. So these are the words that go with implement. Implement means to put into action, to apply something. Carbon neutral fuels are not implemented. Carbon neutral fuels are dash for making aviation and maritime transport sustainable. So do we only use third form of verb Suganya so with R? It is only if you need a verb, you will select third form of verb. What if you don't need a verb? You say uh, children are dash in the garden. What we'll say children are played in the garden. Children are playing is also possible now. That means we have to check what sentence form it is. So carbon neutral fuels, we just have the subject just as children. So fuels are dash. So the answer was crucial means fuels are important for making maritime transport sustainable. The plant developed in Zurich can be used to produce synthetic liquid fuels that release as much CO2 during the combustion as was previously extracted dash the air. So extracted comes with extracted comes with from they have already used it so extracted means take out and the source is written after so with the word source source of anything always comes with the word from like we take out the sap from the plant plant is the source so extracted co2 is extracted from the air co2 and water are extracted from ambient air and split dash solar energy now, some of you have selected into here. Many of you have selected into here. Split means divided. One thing split up means now there are more than one things. But what have they written? Only one thing. Split is not possible unless and until there are minimum two things. Because split means one thing converted into multiple things. So this is, you have to keep in mind what is the meaning of split. So into is not possible because the answer, the result is only one and we need multiple. So we'll say split using solar energy. Nothing else is what we can put here. This process yields syngas, a dash of hydrogen and carbon monoxide. So it will be variety or mixture. So we are not talking about varieties. We can say a mixture of two things. Mixture of hydrogen and carbon monoxide which is then processed, now it will be into because they are multiple things. Processed into one, two or other options. So when there are multiple options, then go with into. Right? Keep these things in mind. They're very small mistakes that you have done. Misplacing the words. Okay, we have one more question for today and then we'll wind up the last one, number five. Two minutes and then post your answers.
done. The dash of Hanukkah was instituted by J in 165 BCE to celebrate his victory. So they were just proper nouns. We don't want like proper nouns and names of people. The names of things cannot help us to find our answer. The only thing that can help us was to celebrate his victory. The dash of Hanukkah was by this person in this year to celebrate his victory. So we should also go with celebration. We cannot say the observation was by this person to celebrate. To celebrate something, you organize a celebration. To celebrate something, you don't hold an observation. Observation has nothing to do with celebration. So it will be the celebration was instituted by this person to celebrate his victory dash this other person. So with victory over another, it always goes with over. So when you say victory of one person over the other, the competitor or the loser will be after the word over with the word victory. He was the king who had invaded Judea, tried to Hellenize the Jews and did something very difficult language. When Judas entered the temple, he found only a small jar of oil that had not been defiled by Antiochus. It contained only dash oil to burn for one day. Now, there are two answers that I have seen in this. Some of you have written it contained only some oil. Some of you have written it contained only enough oil. The way they have used the word only makes all the difference. So how would you frame this sentence in a bit easier form? This much oil is only dash for one day. And you said this much oil is only enough for one day. Means this is just possible for the oil to uh, serve for one day. We cannot use some here because some doesn't show neg negative thing. So they wanted to say it contained only enough oil for one day, but the oil burned for eight days. So the oil was enough for just one day, but the oil burned for eight days. We need LY here. How the oil burned? There's only one LY that we have miraculously. And obviously it's a miracle that uh, the oil which should have been exhausted in one day, it served for, it burned for eight days until new oil could be found. And dash established the precedent. So this thing and does establish, does means with this thing, because of all this thing, the, all these um, previously mentioned event that happened, this event established the precedent that the holiday dash lasts for eight days. Now, some of you have written could here and some of you have written should here. When something is established, then there's no doubt. Then this not 40, 50 percent established means it was uh, decided and thus decided the precedent that the holiday should last means this thing was taken the stance. This thing was decided at that point of time because established means there was no doubt left now. <coughs> so thus was very important. Thus is used when you when you tell the story and then you conclude, what was the conclusion of the story? The conclusion of the story was that the festival should be celebrated for eight festival or whatever. The celebration should be celebrated for eight days. The holiday should be celebrated for eight days. This comes from the story and that is why thus is what we need here. Right? So this was kind of a bit different question from the other ones that we do. Uh, it had to check it, this question actually checked whether you know how to link the pieces of information together because this was kind of a story going on. So any questions, anyone in this particular fifth question? Any confusions? No, is it all fine? So it should be celebration because... Um, to celebrate something, what we will organize will be a celebration. Thus is conclusion. Sujan. Determine means find out. Identify is, uh, you can say, 
identify is also used in a context when you want to say relate to something that is also identify determine is something that you don't know and you have to find that out that is determine identify is just kind of rec recognize in that sense uh if does comes in a new sentence the starting the first word is does it can come with a comma but in a running sentence you don't need a comma after does all good obligatory is more academic than compulsory necessary is not uh, compulsory so necessary doesn't come in this category necessary is essential compulsory and obligatory compulsory is less academic obligatory is more academic so these were all the questions that we had to do today those who don't have any questions or any doubts yes you are free to leave and i will see you next week on monday um the next class till that time please take care um bye bye keep practicing keep revising and we'll come back with some new tests next week <laughs>